Okay, so welcome back, and now we're going to deal with uh, adding uh, fractions with that are mixed numbers. Okay, so here we've got some examples I'm going to work through. And, uh, oh, wait a minute, something's not right. Something does not look right. Hold on. Um, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. This should be... That's it. Okay, so what do we do with mixed numbers? Well, we change them to improper fractions. And so what do we get? We get what? We get 11 fifths plus 18 fifths. And now all we do is, so we've got a common denominator, so now all we do is add across the top and keep the bottom. So this is going to give us uh, 29 fifths, right? And then we change this to a mixed number, which is going to be um, 5 and 4 fifths. What about the next one? Same thing, right? We change mixed numbers, we change them to improper fractions. So this is going to be uh, 13 eighths plus uh, 24 plus 7 is 31, so 31 eighths. And so we, again, common denominator, so we add across the bottom, uh, excuse me, add across the top and keep the bottom. So this is going to give us 44, right? So this is going to give us 44 eighths. Which then gives us what? Five and four eighths, which is equal to five and a half. Right? And then the last one we have three. So now all we have to do is change these to mixed numbers. Right? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to show you another way to do this because you don't necessarily have to change them to mixed numbers. We, because remember, remember what this means. This means 4 plus a 6 plus 2 plus 5 6 plus 3 plus 5 6. Now, remember, addition is commutative. So I can move these all around. So what I can do is I can add the 4, the 2, and the 3, right? Well, the 4 and the 2 and the 3 give me 9, right? And then what does the, the, the fractions give me? Well, this gives me 1 plus 5 plus 5, which gives me 11, right? So plus 11 sixths. Well, 11 sixth is equal to what? So now I can go ahead and, and I can write this as 9. Well, what's 11? 11, 11 sixth is 1 and 5 sixths. Right? So then, again, this is, just a, this is just a plus, right? So I can write this as 1 plus five six and so the answer is ten and five six. I can do it that way too. Okay? So when you're adding mixed numbers, you don't necessarily have to change them to mixed to uh, to an improper fra to improper fractions. You just remember to add the whole numbers, add the fractional parts, and then if the fractional part sums up to an improper fraction, then change it to a mixed number and do it again. Add the whole parts and you're done. Okay. Have a great day.